Hello, my name is Logan and I'm your host, The Mighty Pirate. In today's video, we are going over the Kodiak. My sources for today's video are Technical Readout 3058 Upgrade and Sarna.net. A fast-moving assault mech, the Kodiak was originally designed by Clan Ghost Bear as a second-line equivalent to the Gladiator Omni mech. While the Kodiak does not go to the extreme of the other totem mechs such as the Thunder Stallion or the Mandrill, it nevertheless represents the epitome of Ghost Bear thinking. Mostly defensive but capable of surprising speed and a devastating attack when launched. The primary focus of the Kodiak is its 400 rated extra light engine, which allows the 100 ton monster to exceed speeds of 60 kilometers an hour. Around the Mammoth engine, a devastating medium to short range arsenal is mounted. Eight extended range medium lasers, twin streak SRM-6 launchers, and an ultra class autocannon Almost as an afterthought, an extended range large laser provides the mech its sole long range weapon. While the Kodiak has extensive overheating problems when firing all of its weapons simultaneously, Ghost Bear mech warriors learn to use the weapons sparingly, and they love the knockout punch an Alpha Strike provides. While the Kodiak appears to mount claws on each hand, a nod towards a totem mech aesthetic, they are only for show. The vast majority of deployed Kodiaks are found within Ghost Bear Tormon. For the first years of its deployment, it was unique to the bears. However, a few other clans employ Kodiaks to one extent or another, specifically clans Cloud Cobra, Goliath, Scorpion, and Snow Raven. Of these, the Snow Ravens deploy the most apparent part of the payment for their part during the Ghost Bear relocation to the Inner Sphere. Strangely enough, the only Crusader clan known to field a handful of Kodiaks is Clan Ice Hellion. The Kodiak II first appeared during the Dominion Combine War, when it received its first baptism of fire on Richmond. In an effort to provide the mech with greater mobility while simultaneously solving its horrendous overheating problems, the Kodiak II exchanges four lasers and a Streak 6 launcher along with a ton of ammunition for jump jets. The Kodiak III has only recently been seen in action along Clan Snow Raven, the most radical variant to date. Its design is tied to the Snow Raven's innate aerospace bias, creating a powerful anti-aircraft mech, downgrading the heat sinks to 14 doubles and removing the Ultra 20, the Twin Streak SRM-6 racks and the extended range large laser, and four medium lasers to create room to mount twin LBX autocannons with three tons of ammunition each, with all the remaining weapons slaved to an advanced targeting computer. That will conclude my video on the Kodiak. In my next video, I'm going to be doing another armory video to help bridge some of the gaps I've missed in the arsenal of weapons. I've also found out about a whole bunch of other new things that I had no idea existed, and I'd like to share them with you.